Most good nonprofit videos have a good interview as their foundation. One interview or maybe several interviews will most likely be the heart of your video. Here are a couple guidelines to up your video game. Number one, find someplace quiet. Good audio quality is essential. Now you may be tempted to conduct an interview outside to take advantage of a cool background. Don't. Whenever you can, film your interviews indoors. Now there's nothing wrong with wanting to have a cool background, but if you're doing so at the expense of audio quality, then you're making a huge mistake. Even something as small as a bird chirping can really mess up your audio and your audience will have difficulty hearing what your interview subject is saying. Number two, make sure to research your interview subject beforehand. Try to have five to 10 interview questions prepared ahead of time. I try to avoid emailing my interview subjects the questions beforehand as it often leads to canned responses. With that said, I do let the interviewee know the subject we'll be covering in the interview ahead of time. Don't be afraid to stray from your interview questions. Just because you don't have an interview question written out ahead of time doesn't mean you're not allowed to ask it. It may come to you during the interview. Oftentimes, the best answers I get for my interview subjects are the result of improvised questions. Number three, have your subject answer in complete sentences. This will give your video context and help keep it shorter. For example, if you were to ask your subject, where are you from? And they said, Oakland, you can't do much with that footage. If the audience is just seeing a clip of someone saying Oakland, they're not going to know what the person is referencing. Instead, you need your subject to say, I am from Oakland. Most people don't talk in complete sentences, so you may have to remind them throughout the interview. You're also allowed to ask them to repeat their answers. You are the boss. Number four, crop your subjects well. Most filmmakers crop from the tippy top of the head to a couple inches above the belly button. This allows you to see the interview subject's face really well while simultaneously showing the audience some of the background and how the subject is dressed. Here's a few examples. Notice how the filmmaker chose a background that conveys a lot of information about the subject before we've even heard him speak. We already know two things about him, that he's some kind of expert and that he probably didn't have a lot of sex in college. What do we know immediately about this woman? She's in a position of power and she's probably never seen Snoop Dogg perform live. 